All right, this is part two on how to install CyanogenMod 7. We've already rooted it, installed custom recovery, and now we're going to apply the CyanogenMod 7 zip. If you did not watch the first part, please click the annotation on the screen or the phone itself. Okay, we need to put the two files, the CM7 zip, the larger one, and then the Google add-ons zip, the second one, onto the SD card. So, mounts and storage, mount USB storage, Google add-ons right here and update CM7 click signed drag them over to the SD card you don't have to rename them I use Terracopy and it gives me the options to shut down the computer or eject the device once it's done so it saves you a step it says it's now okay to be ejected press enter unmount install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card Oh, first you want to do a wipe, otherwise you're going to go through a boot loop and you're going to comment and say, my phone won't start. Sanjimai keeps flashing over and over and over again. And then I'm going to tell you, okay, do a factory reset before you apply the ROM. You only have to do a factory reset once you're switching from like CM6 to CM7, from CM7 to CM9. There's not going to be an 8 because an 8 would have been honeycomb, but honeycomb is not open source. So CM9 will be ice cream sandwich. She needed help wipe her butt. Here, you finish it, Fine. Alright, now we're going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip. Side Jamon 7. Install. And now we're going to choose zip again. And we're going to choose the Google Add-ons Gingerbread. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you do not download the second zip and flash the Google Add-ons, you will not have the Android market. Reboot the system now. If you didn't do like I did and you changed it where it flashed the new recovery, when it reboots now, you would have to open up ROM Manager with an active internet connection and click Flash Clockwork Recovery. This part right here actually does take a minute. Cyanogen! The first boot is always going to take longer than any other boot because it's installing the whole system and booting for the first time. We have lights, so we have success. Awesome! You have now gotten rid of Android 1.5 or Android 2.1 and replaced it with gingerbread. With the pre-710, you couldn't use Wi-Fi, you had to flash it nightly. But with 7101, Wi-Fi does work, it just takes it a second for it to kick on. Okay, I just noticed that the one in the guide was 710 and you need 7101 to actually get Wi-Fi to work so and I do not have to wipe to install 7101 because it's just a slight upgrade so I'm gonna install that and I'll be right back see 7101 10th of October and right here when you click on latest version All right, it's not one to load, but it was 710 that it said was the latest, which is not true. 7101, make sure you have that one there, otherwise your Wi-Fi will not work. It just went back, it's done that before. I really do recommend downloading them all, especially if you use Firefox. You're missing out if you don't use this as your download manager. This is the last one I'll show you. See? 710 click. 7101. I'm gonna transfer to SD card, boot into recovery, and install it. The best part about this is. You can hold this down and you can choose reboot into recovery. But an even easier way is to open up ROM Manager. Reboot into recovery. Alright, installs it from SD card, choose it from SD card. Oh, I lied. Okay, here's the last time I'm going to show you this. I flashed the top one, 7.1.0. 
I needed to flash the 7.1.0.1. See, I didn't wipe because I'm already going from Cyanogen 7 to Cyanogen 7. If I was going from 6 to 7 or from 7 to 9 or something, then I would have to. I'm going to stop it right here and then I'll start the recording once it's done and I'm back in the system. Okay, we've rebooted back to system here. So now when I try to turn on the Wi-Fi, my network should start popping up here. There we go. And you can't tell it in this video, but above the E, there's no 3. And over here, there's no 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'll show you how to fix that. Your market's also going to force close until you do this. I went as far as using Titanium Backup, freezing the market updater, and reverting back to the old market, just so I could have a working market. And I always go to Advanced, Wi-Fi Slate Policy, and never. Otherwise, every time your screen turns off or you lock your phone, your Wi-Fi cuts off and it uses 3G. 3G will lower your battery life than Wi-Fi because it's much harder for 3G. This is how you fix your market force closing and the keyboard not showing the numbers correctly. You go to language. And I don't know why, but by default, it's MD, United States. We need to change that to English, United States. And there's your market. See, now all the numbers are above the letters on the top row, 1 through 0, which before they were not there. That's an indicator that you are not using an English keyboard. From here on out, you'll be able to download the free version of Titania Backup from the market, and you'll be able to back up and restore your apps as needed. Technically, if you could get to your system before because you had a SIM card, you should be able to root back up your stuff with Titania Backup and then wipe and install Sanjin Mod and restore them. But I can't test that out. And when I rebooted back to the system after installing Custom Recovery, it overwrote the Custom Recovery with Stock Recovery. So I had to reinstall it again. I don't know why it shows your email address up there and when you go to menu my apps it also shows it again because this is the new 3311 market and it installed it by default. Menu settings. Okay no this is a 313. You can install the 3311 though. Menu settings, applications, unknown sources. Actually I made a really quick way if your phone doesn't automatically download a new market, I made a really easy way to get new market. Bitly slash market three three one one. Let's go into the Dropbox public Dropbox link I have, so it's an instant download. This will work on any Android device as far as I'm aware of. Just go to your browser and type in bit.ly slash market 3311 and then enter whatever you gotta do to load that web page. So now you can allow apps to automatically update as soon as you install them without checking that box and it says 331111. So if you missed the first part how to root, please click the annotation on the screen or on the phone itself right now. This is What Would Josh Do? And this is my video on how to install Cyanogemon 7 on a Motorola Click. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is What Would Josh Do? And now I'm out.